case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1942 Supreme Court case, Braverman v. United States, a group of individuals were indicted on seven counts of conspiring to violate the U.S. internal revenue laws. The defendants were accused of collaborating in the manufacturing, transportation, and distribution of distilled spirits in violation of several statutes. However, they argued that there was only one agreement to commit the offenses and sought for the government to elect only one count to proceed with. The prosecution maintained that the seven counts constituted distinct offenses of a continuous conspiracy. The Supreme Court had to determine whether multiple violations could result from a single conspiracy and whether the statutory limitations applied. The court ultimately reversed the conviction and remanded the case to the district court for resentencing. The court ruled that a single conspiracy involving multiple crimes violated one statute, allowing only one penalty to be imposed. It also held that the six-year statute of limitations applied to conspiracies that aimed to evade or defeat federal tax payment. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.